G'day, g'day. How you going? Well, it's winter here now in New Zealand and there's snow on the mountains everywhere, which is pushing all the animals down to lower ground, which is good for hunting. And that's what we're doing today. I'm about one minute away from picking up one very excited young man, Mushroom, and then uh, Dan, and maybe another adult too. Hello, Clay. G'day, mate. How you going? So I bought spirulina because it's healthy, apparently. It looks like shit, eh? It does. This looks horrible. It's green. What's it taste like? Cow pet. Mm. The bottom of a pond. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't taste like the whiskey I had last night, that's for sure. A lot of banana in there. It says no added sugar, dairy free, no added colours. Mm. That's what it tastes like shit. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? None yeah. of the good stuff. <laughs> Why is it that most of the real healthy stuff always tastes like ass? <laughs> Check this out, no MSG. No MSG. Well, MSG is actually not bad for you. That's a, that's a misunderstanding that. Well, it is a flavour enhancer though, isn't it? Yeah, it's good for you, so. <laughs> um, this here is a, a steak and pepper pie. Yeah, I get them periodically. From over here? Yeah. They're bloody good, aren't they? They're good. Yeah. Because the pepper really heats you up, so yeah. you don't even need tomato sauce. Yeah, no, that's what I get when I'm mm. getting the pie down here. Hey man, this is, this is going against the grain of us sort of pushing the wakey-bakey. <laughs> Mm. So it's from the um, Marpur Village Bakery. <laughs> Good one, Marpur Village Bakery. He's an Aussie, the guy who runs it. Oh, Sean. Yeah. Sean. Sean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Came yeah. from Aussie, yeah. Mm. Western Australia. Hello. Mm. No, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. That is a pig taking a dump. That's a sow. Just come out onto this farmland next to the forestry where we're hunting, so we can't go in there. She looks like she might be. I think she's wondered us. I think she's pregnant. Look at belly on her. Yeah. Focus, focus. She's wondered us. She's gonna move. Just staying dead still. Yeah, but it's a good pig. Good weight. I'm just wondering why the farmers allow this pig to come to its paddock and like root it up like he isn't. She's got wind of us, I think. Yeah, that paddock's rooted to hell. No, she's got wind. She's only got one ear. Ah oh, yeah, she's only got one ear. She's seen dogs before. Oh, I think she's got my wind. Nah. Not too worried, I'm not that far from her, maybe 100 metres. Yeah, definitely had a dog or two swinging off her ear and survived to tell the tale. Poor old girl. She looks like she's in pug, she's in bloody good nick. Very good Nick. Fat as. I would say she's not that far from dropping her piglets. I wonder if she's going to make it. This is the most footage I've ever got in Nelson area of a pig. I'm wondering if she actually is a tame pig perhaps it's... I'm actually wondering if she's a wild pig that's been tamed by the farmer. Because she's in his paddock freely, but she's, nah. We just arrived at the hunt zone, and we just put collars on dogs now. We've still got Choppy in the back. But they've all gone up into this knob up here. Choppy's like, hoo, hoo, hoo. We haven't even got our gear sorted out yet, and the dogs have gone, so this could be how we go back out again. What you doing, Poe? Good girl, Poe. Just waiting for a pig to jump out. What's happened is there has been a, been a pig around here, hasn't there? You can tell, eh, Dave? I'll say that something's got them excited. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the dogs run and up the road. They're circling around. No, there's a pig yeah. around here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can't walk. <laughs> you yeah, bloody died if a pig had jumped out there, wouldn't you? I don't know, we dance for you. Yeah. Did you think a pig was coming out there? <laughs> I thought, I wonder if there's a pig there. Yeah. It can happen. It can happen. 
you reckon he's after a possum? Uh, probably. <laughs> Not sure. Probably. You've got great faith in your dogs. So the status is the dogs have shot down the road and then taken a hard right and peeled off about 50, 60 metres, which is a good sign, eh, young fella? Yeah. What's your gut feeling? Oh, nothing at the moment. Hoping there's a pig down there. Great. Right. Four snakes. Dan's got the snakes all ready for the pig to catch. Haven't even caught anything yet, he's already got the snakes out. He's pretty fucking up and missed it. Dog's up here about 250 metres. Fair blasting it. Obviously tracking something. There's been other hunters up here today. Just waiting for the rest of the guys to come up. Dogs got smoked by that pig. Forestry pigs. It's pretty dark now, but we've got all four dogs. About 80 to 90 metres going a hell of a rate. Just waiting for a bark. So we've got Poe and Choppy about 280. We're coming up to 280 now. I've been tracking that pig for a while. Just tracking it. So we've got the dogs both treed. Still treed dead. Yeah, but a long way away, 400. How's your energy level? It's alright. Okay, bloody good. We've got a lot of walking to do, young fella. Yeah. There'll be a lot of walking. I had it treed for a while, and then it broke, obviously, or... They don't have it at all, we don't know what's going on really, we're just uh, guessing. But uh, we've got Bob and Liz with us, so hopefully we can be out there and catch a pig. Hopefully it's a pig. Yeah. Well they're not tracking after nothing. No. There's something they're tracking after. Pa and Choppy now have tracked this pig over two creeks. We've got quite a bit of walking to do. Dan and Dave back at the truck, picking it up. And hopefully we come out with a good result. I say mushrooms doing a good job, so you stick them with me like, no problem, I reckon he's getting fitter. Yeah, so. It's past his dinner time by now and he's still going. Yeah. You didn't even have lunch today, did you? No. Good boy. Bit of moon. Poe, Jobby's still tracking this pig. 400 away, still tracking it. And I've still got mushroom with me. He's still going strong. You're going well, boy. Yeah. How's your energy now? Oh, uh, still pretty good. Good boy. Oh, we'll do the hard yards. Get the rewards, you know. Yep. If you get really tired, you just tell me and I'll mark you where you are and you can sit down and I'll GPS mark it and I'll pick you up later on. Alright. But you'll have to stay on the mark, you won't better move. Yep. Okay. Going for a while now and young mushrooms doing a good job of keeping up with me because I'm not going exactly slow. Pun choppy still tracking this pig. The pig's done a 180 and gone all the way back, so mushroom are now heading back towards where we started from. They're not on the same track though, so they're still tracking the pig. How's your legs going? Uh, not half my legs are a wee bit sore. Yeah, it's all now. Oh yeah, lactic has to be building up. Yeah, they're, they're, they're more sore going, not uphill. Yeah, downhill a bit easier, eh? Yeah. I don't know. So dog's back in and they've been doing a bit of hold of it, Choppy. Hey, Poe. Hey, Choppy. Right, mate? Yeah, looks alright, eh? No trail barking on the trail though that I heard. But, uh, no. That was good. Bloody forestry pigs, eh? They run. That was a big run too, wasn't it? <laughs> we lost communication with them and kept on walking. And then we picked up and realised, geez, we're going too far, they've come back. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that pig went all the way down there and then ran all the way back up. Like Smart, eh? Hey? Clever. And added another bloody kilometre and a half to it. Yeah, clever. 
Hey Po, you okay Po? She's great. She's wagging her tail. She wants to hunt more, don't you? Choppy's like I'm fucked. I mean you gotta to go to the pump and pay two bucks. I put forty bucks in my car the other day, didn't even bring it up to a quarter of a tank. You might have to get a horse. Oh god. Time is 9.30 at night, we've been hunting a long time and we have caught nothing. In the back we have Dave. Dastardly Dave. And young fella Mushroom. Have you had a good day? Yeah. Done a lot of K's boy, you did well to keep up with me. Yeah. You did a lot of K's, good job. But uh, yeah, again, good. we've had chases but no catches. Which just goes to show that my dogs aren't that flash. <sighs> And <laughs> Dad's kind of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so we just drove over here and I said to Dan, I reckon we hit that and he says nah. And in the back there, Dave who had no faith in me goes nah. <laughs> the mushroom was smart said nothing. I said if I have had it, you're gonna buy me a, a burger at Burger King. But if I have an old shout everybody and Dan was sort of quiet and oh yeah okay. He was pretty confident. I've just pulled over <laughs> side of the road here, gone back. Going back to have a look. Oh, we got him a beauty. Right in the head. We went, that's what I heard. I heard him stick his head up. He's still warm. The headshot. <laughs> Check it out, after a weekend of catching bugger or meat, I really wanted to eat some meat, so uh, I've taken this out of the freezer. A nice backstrap, which is a gold bar of any animal. It was a spiker. We're going to make crumbed medallions. This knife is Japanese. It was gifted to me by Ross, who's a knife maker, and it's a good knife. It's high carbon steel. Today, I think we're going to eat, how much are we? How hungry are you? Very hungry. The whole lot? Hungry? <laughs> yeah, the whole lot hungry? Right, eh? So we'll start by taking it there. The meat is just a little bit frozen still, which makes it really easy to chop up. This is the magic ingredient. Well, I think you say Dijonese mustard. About that much. It's going to really add to the flavour and also help the crumbs stick onto the meat. It's plain, pure flour there. I'm going to put some pepper in my flour to begin with. And I'm going to save the salt till afterwards. So on the outside, the crumbs get that nice crunchy, salty taste. The trick here is to keep one hand dry and one wet. So your left hand's the wet one. Need to pick something up, you get a dry hand. Who doesn't like venison, honestly? It's probably one of the best red meats, I reckon. I won't say what the other red meat is we like. You know, I can guess. No, it's not pork. It's not beef. I don't know, they can go in the pan. Leaf lard, great for cooking with. And rendered down pork fat. And 
some salt. These guys are all going to be not touching each other. Once in the pan, just a little bit of movement to help get your fat all around. Not bad. What do you think? Look good? Yeah. Mm. You really can eat all this, are we? Mm. <laughs> Eyes are bigger than your tummy. When you cut a lemon in half, to get the best juice out of it, take the inside core like that. That way when you squeeze it, you get all the lemon but you don't get a squirt. In your eyes. I think you've got actually a bit of deer here. There, look. See that? Mm. See this here? Look. Yeah. It's a bit of deer here. Look. What? <laughs> okay. There's your dinner, sweetheart. Turn it. Up. Not for you, Choppy. Where you go? Not for Choppy. Big piece for a little girl. Choppy, where you go? Mm. Choppy and me are watching, licking our lips. Choppy wants some too. I think mustard is really good. What's it, sweetheart? Mustard? Yeah, it works, eh? Mm. Really brings the flavour out. That's the key ingredient a lot of people don't put in. Ah, you're gonna give me a wee bite, come on. You can't eat all that meat. One piece. Mm. Give me the mm. small piece, come on. Yum. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll start cooking mine then. Mm. You enjoy? Mm. I'm yep. really hungry. How do you rate it? More than ten. More than ten, mm. wow. Bloody sheep. Well, I hope you enjoyed this guys. Thanks for all your contributions and hearty support. Good luck with your own hunting and fishing, however you're gathering your food, whether it's going out in the sea or mountains or going to the supermarket even. Good luck with gathering and getting the right tucker on the table. And uh, be good. You can't be good and be careful. It's been wood pigeon hanging around me all day and I'm so tempted to just catch one and put it in clay and cook it because I did that when I was younger. But you can't do that anymore, can you? I can tell you they taste bloody good. I didn't say that. See you later.